Hi everybody, it's been a while, I know. Uh, I've had all kinds of things going on, but I'm back tonight. I have also been on a card making binge or whatever you want to call it. And I just want to share a few things because I am getting ready to um, sell some of these or give them away. So I wanted to share a few. I have a few different categories too, actually. Um, I have two where I had to make dimensional envelopes for them. So um, let me just pop this one out and this one here. They're all plain, I think, inside. I don't think I really stamped anything on the inside. Um, there's some that want some. They didn't want any sentiments on them. So here's the first one here I made. Like I said, they're just plain on the inside, but they wanted them uh, fl floral on the outside. So I just added some different, I think those are petalou flowers. Added some threading up in the corner under it in a pearl and die cut this uh the one tim holtz and just put a background embossed piece to it so that was that one and then i made the dimensional envelope just to kind of make it easier and the presentation a little bit better and i'll just have it tied by a ribbon and then this here is the other one and i just i'll just slide up that twine and then it just opens like this. If I can get this out of here, I'm trying to do it one-handed. And again, there's no sentiment on it. I just layered up different papers. Die cut this, put this behind this, and then a smaller one on the front to kind of fill in there. Add the butterflies. Um, this larger flower, I made that one. That's with the Heartfelt Creations flower. And that one's, uh, I thought that one came out pretty good too. I like that in the purples. So that's that one, but I did have to make an envelope for it because it is very dimensional. So that was that one. Oops, let me put these back in a minute. And then I had to make some more like masculine type cards. So I kept them pretty simple, not real big cards or anything. I have like an embossed background. This is from Stampin' Up. And then I just stamp that and add the twine on the front. So there's that one. Here's another version, but it, just a thank you card. Just kind of stamped it. And then I made this one, die cut uh, the feathers in different pattern papers and embossed it. I think that also was with the Tim Holtz die. So that was just a simple, kind of clean and simple masculine card. Here's kind of a fall card. It could be for anybody. It's pretty dimensional because I add like a little wreath of beads and um, I think this one leaf back here that's craft colored, I inked it. That was like a tag from Michaels added a oh a banner behind it with the natural canvas and then just embossed behind that with like a wood grain pattern so that was that one then i needed some flamingo cards so i got some ideas off of pinterest where i just like used three different inks kind of made the whole background just stamped it and kept it real simple so I kind of like that it was just like an the half image a partial image of the flamingo then I also did this one here just stamped it with different leaf greens and that grid pattern stamp added a black butterfly with some uh, little dimensional flat back beads on it then here's another flamingo one I stamped. I got a lot of these, some of these ideas from Pinterest. Again, um, I really liked that one too. And this one here, I just kind of finished this one up tonight and die cut, layered it with different layers, 
I actually cut out the pineapples and shaded them a little and then did the thank you with the navy blue stamp. That was from Stampin' Up! also in the punch. And then, uh, I had to do a few sympathy cards. So I'm trying to go fast here, not too fast. I just did a simple stamping one here. Again, I think I got some of these ideas from Pinterest. This here one, another sympathy simple one using Stampin' Up! and another stamp set with those words. And let's get the other one. There should be one more here. <clears throat> I inked it with the uh, Oxide inks, just blended those, taped it off, and did three colors, and then die cut that little uh, sprig of flowers a couple times and stamped it. So it's pretty simple also. So that's my three sympathy cards. I did those. And let's see. This one, I'm going to see if I can open it. Oh, so sorry. I have a white ribbon around it. It's just very simple. I just stamp the inside and put the stamping over in the corner. Thank you for your kindness. Stamp the bottom. And then we'll just put the white ribbon on that to keep it closed. And that's just a simple thank you card too. And that also is with the Stampin' Up! dies. Those are really, really pretty. And then here's a couple I made oh, a while back. But this one could be for a more masculine card. And I just embossed this in like a teal blue. And then just layered up banners and added some twine to that one. And then I tried to do a few flamingo cards with vellum. Um, I saw someone do this and I embossed it, stamped it, and then you just flip it open. You can leave your message on those. So it's a little bit different, but the top half here is just vellum. So this one here is in pink vellum and I just embossed it with clouds. And you just die cut the part, top part to cut off the flamingo. And this one here is with dots or bubbles. And so I did those. And a while back I had done a coffee card. I like to do some, I haven't done too many of those, but this is with the Tim Holtz. And then these here, I just colored these up and layered three of them and popped them up. And that was a quick little uh, coffee card. So those are some of the things I've been working on. Uh, I just wanted to share a few things tonight that I was uh, kind of been busy. I know I haven't been on here for a while. Um, just a lot of things going on. Just life. So I hope everybody's having a good evening. Thank you for watching. And everyone have a good week. Bye.